Legacy Maker, the All Sports Network. Hello everyone and welcome to day 11 of Redskins training camp here in Richmond, Virginia at the Bon Secours Training Center. I'm Drew Willingham of the Legacy Maker Sports Network here to give you the updates on the Washington Redskins as of today. There is no Trent Williams still. Still hasn't shown up to camp. There's a very good chance he will not show up by the time the camp's over or by week one. The team and him are in a bitter rift right now. It has nothing to do with the coaching staff. It has nothing to do with his teammates. It has everything to do with the medical staff. Two years ago, Trent Williams noticed there was something on top of his head, some type of growth or cyst or something. And he went to the Met Redskins training staff about it, who said that there was nothing to worry about. He was good to go. You're set. Keep Just keep an eye on it. Two years goes by over the off season of, after last season. He goes to a doctor, gets it checked up, and finds out that it's possibly something that, that could be a little bit more than not serious. So um, after a couple months goes by, had it checked up everything's good to go he's good to play football now there's nothing to worry about the issue is between the player and the medical staff he doesn't trust the medical staff so that's the biggest reason for the holdout if Trent Williams holdout lasts until the season per game he's set to make six hundred and seventeen thousand dollars per game if he sits out throughout the rest of the season and per game that's a lot of money that's going to add up that's over a million dollars per two games so We'll see where this goes. Will they actively shop him soon? I don't think so. They haven't done it over the course of the past offseason or even now through training camp up until week one of the preseason. They have their first game in two two days. They've got Donald Penn, who they signed, who was uh, Oakland Raider and also Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for seven years and with the Raiders for the past five. So he's definitely got some veteran leadership that he can help out with the loss of Trent Williams. But is he – Trent Williams, is he going to make that much of an impact to this Redskins offense? Only time will tell, and I don't think that's the case. I think that they need to figure out something to for both sides to get Trent Williams happy and trustworthy with the medical staff, make some type of accommodation for him, maybe not tweak everything too much or get rid of the health and medical staff, but maybe something that would be just for him, maybe his own medical staff, kind of like what Kawhi Leonard kind of wanted to do with his offseason talks. But the difference between that and this is Trent Williams is under contract for two more years. Kawhi Leonard was a free agent, so there's a lot more you can you can play with, especially with the NBA. It's two different sports. So, as far as that goes with Trent Williams, that's the latest update with that. Other than that, it's just been another typical day here at practice. It's been hot. It's cooled down a little bit here as of lately. But with all that said, let's take you to the highlights of day 11 here at Redskins training camp.
pretty good. Uh, we were just going through some situational stuff like that for to get ready for the game Thursday. What's the biggest difference between uh, coming from Alabama and then coming to the NFL? What are some biggest di differences like in the practice rent schedules that you're going through that you see? Uh, it's really not no different because uh, Alabama, that's, well, that's one thing I can say about Alabama, that's like that they really train you for the pros and they go have you right for when you get here. We appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Good luck Thursday. Maker, the All Sports Network. Brought to you in part by DWillyMedia.com.